All right, I have no idea. I'm setting up my little uh, camera in a new room this time, okay? So you guys may be upside down. I don't know. You're gonna have to tell me. So if you guys are here and you're upside down or you need to be moved, somebody's gonna have to tell me. Just like comment and say, hey Betsy, I'm upside down and backwards and I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> Okay, but either way, we're going to get started. I did the last vendor event with Miss Kayla, and I thought this time we'd start out with a live, um, and kind of show you guys what a traveler's notebook is, okay? So this is one of our traveler's notebooks. This is my favorite one because it is the white pearl leather with the rose gold spine, okay? And... Rose gold's kind of my favorite. It's kind of my jam. So you can see how that is. So basically a traveler's notebook is a planner um, or a notebook. I suppose you could use it with all notes, inserts, whatever you wanted. But it's basically a notebook that's completely customizable. So this is a B6 and it is and extra wide, which means it has a two inch spine here. And that is because this particular notebook will fit up to six inserts. So this is an insert. This is just a blank notes insert. And we do sell um, inserts in the shop, of course. I'll leave a link down below. You can either buy them printed or digital. A lot of people like to print their own because then you can, you know, get it right now, <laughs> which is always nice. But I'm just going to show you how this works. So this is a B6 size, and this is exactly how they come. Okay, so it comes just as the as the cover. You can pick your elastics. If you want four elastics or six elastics, with four elastics, you can fit four books on the strings. Six if you use a jump band, which I'll show you how to do. If you use six strings then you can fit up to eight inserts. That's a lot of books. Most people don't need that many books. Um, this is probably too many for an actual planner. Six books in a planner is a lot. This particular book is sold um, to someone who's going to be using it as a baby kind of keepsake scrapbook. So, you know, more books in that kind of a scrapbook is perfect because she's gonna be able to fit lots of cute little baby things in here. So what you do is you'll take your insert and you basically put it around the strings here. Okay. So that way, I mean, you could really customize exactly where you put all of your inserts. So since I'm just showing you guys how to set it up, I'm just going to load this baby up with inserts. I'm not really worrying about what they are. So all of these are like, this is a grid insert dot grid insert. Typically I would do a calendar insert and a budget insert and maybe a menu planner insert, you know, things that are really functional. These are all just blank inserts to show you guys how they work. So this is how a B6 extra wide looks with four, four books. Okay. You can see that it's a little flappy and it has a lot of space because it's an extra wide. So it's meant to have six to eight books in it. So what you do to add more books, since this is a four string, is you take your inserts and you put that jump band literally just through the inserts. And then you can add them into your book. So now we have six books in our planner, okay? 
So that is what a B6 extra wide looks like when it's properly full. That's about as much space as you want to have on the edges. Okay, and then you have your elastic here that wraps around and keeps it all tight. Now this is a new one, so the spine is still a little unformed. Um, and that's just part of, part of being new. But they definitely wear in over time. So let's go over the pockets. So when you order your notebook, um, the entire notebook, just the cover, not the inserts. Okay, let's go ahead and take the inserts back out now that I've showed you kind of how they look. So when you order your cover, you just get the leather and the elastics. It comes just like that, which means that you can really put whatever you like in them. And we do sell them full. I'm going to show you what one looks like full with all the bells and whistles in a minute. But it comes just like this in the mail. And you can pick, I believe we have a rose gold, a silver, um, an aqua glitter option and a gold glitter option for the spine. And you can either get it scalloped like this or you can get it straight without the scallops. Um, and this, like I said, is a two inch spine, which is perfect for extra books. Typically it's going to come with a one inch spine and all of that, it just depends on, on how wide your book is. And if you're confused about what size you want, message me and we'll talk about what you want to use it for. And I can kind of help, you know, guide you in the right direction. So either way, this has one pocket. You can order them with two pockets. They're going to be the same price either way. It just depends on what you're looking for. So it comes with the one larger pocket and two card pockets. And that just lets you put a card in it. I mean, it's just what it sounds like. <laughs> so say you have a credit card that you want to keep in there. These are just cards that I have to scrapbook, so they're in my scrapbook room. This is a carnival card. And I like to have the hidden pocket because then you can hide your credit card in here and no one will see it. But then if you have a card that you don't mind, you can put it here. And they're nice and wide, so if you really wanted to put two or three cards in a spot, you can. They fit. You can also completely decorate your pockets or put journaling cards in them. It's really up to you. And then, of course, you have your bigger space at the back. And I like to put a piece of, say, cardstock back there. This is a very floppy leather, which I really like, but not everyone likes it quite as floppy. Um, so typically, if you, you know, layer cardstock back here or a notebook, say you have a little notebook that you want to keep or some sticky notes, you've got some. You know, I've got a little sticky notebook. Say you wanted to layer those kind of things back here. Well, now you're a little, well, let's turn it this way. All right, so there you go. Now you've got some different things in there that you might use. Your leather is going to be much firmer. You know, it's not as floppy as, say, this side when you have those pockets. That gives it um, a bit of structure. So... That is just your basic overview of the little traveler's notebook here. And hopefully that clears up a little bit of just exactly what a traveler's notebook is. It's basically a notebook with elastics that you can customize because you can put whatever inserts you want in them. So I have, you know, in our shop, we have notes inserts that are blank. We have ones that are lined. We have ones that are dot grids. We have ones that are normal grids. I mean, you have your budget inserts, you have your menu inserts, you have your meal planner. And the, the possibilities are basically endless. Like I said, the gal who's ordering that one is going to be using it as a baby book. So she's going to have a journaling prompt. She's going to have, I think, 12 months worth of scrapbooking info in there. Of course, our cruise notebook has cruise prompts and everything in there. So this is our fall notebook. And I'm going to show you what it looks like inside so that you can kind of get a sense of what one looks like all, all done up and pretty. I really like this little bow. How cute is that? So the bows are available in the shop. 
um, you can buy one or they come in a set of three with a small, medium, and large. So here is the fall one. And I call it fall basically just because of the artwork that's in here. And I'll show you. But basically it's just set up how you would use it. Um, here's the floral swag for the front. This one turned out amazing. But it is, I mean, really, let's be honest, this is the most useless part of the entire thing. Because a floral swag does nothing. It does nothing but sit on the front of your notebook and be beautiful. But they're very durable because they are felt, which means you can throw this in your handbag. You can throw it in your diaper bag. You can throw it in the back seat of your car. It's not going to be messed up. They're very sturdy. You know, they're felt. Felt can't... I mean, if you dropped dye on it or soda or something it would be you know not so good but it's not going to be messed up by getting banged around this little doily is going to be the death of me so here's the inside and this is a slightly different cover setup you'll see we offer uh, two different options with our covers we offer the custom covers here that come in different colors and different spine options and different elastic options and these are all custom so these little guys are $24 I think 42 cents is what the material comes out to and you can really pick whatever you like these come with our full setups if you would like one you can order them without the cover as well and there are much cheaper I hate to say cheaper but they're much less expensive option if you're not looking for a cover that's worth $25 this is just a nice faux leather and it's just it is what it is the elastics aren't as strong the materials aren't as strong but it's a great starter notebook and if you wanted it in one of the nicer notebooks it's the great thing about travelers notebooks you know I can easily take out this entire insert and the vellums and the dashboards and and move it right over. You know, I could just take this out. Dun, 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 dun. And now it lives in this notebook. So that's the great part about Traveler's Notebooks is they're really easy to customize and they're also really easy to, to move. You know, everything is just exactly the way you want it, which you can't get with a spiral bound planner. Um, a little bit with a disc bound planner but not as much all right so we're gonna flip through this guy and I will tell you everything that's available in the shop and of course if you have any questions just ask y'all like I promise I won't even be mean to you today I'm in a good mood so let's get started <laughs> this is the front card we have um, let's just start at the back we have a washi card all of our traveler's notebooks that are fully loaded like this come with a washi card. I typically do one or two strands of washi at the top to kind of get you started. And then you are, you know, because everybody has their own washi. So I don't want to fill up your entire card. But you've got your washi at the top. You can put the rest of it here. So that you've got washi on the go. I always like to have a little bit of washi in case I need to mark something. All right, so then we have some die cuts. So the the little pig, the two little geese, Mr. Goose, Mrs. Goose, and the watering can are all part of the printable die cuts that are in the shop for the fall release, okay? So you can pick these up in a digital download and print them out yourself. Now the way I do them for the fully loaded notebooks is I put a layer of, see if you can see that. That's holographic, y'all. I put a holographic layer over them because it is just so cute. <laughs> and it just adds a little something extra. But I cut these out on 110 pound paper, so they are sturdy as heck. They're not going anywhere. And then you've got that holographic layer over the top. And you can see baby bow, big bow, medium bow. I feel like they're the, the three little bears or something. They're so cute. So you get a couple little extras up here. You get some chipboard. You get this cute little acorn. You get some doilies. You get some little dots. You get the feather. You get some acetate. And then we'll move into the first notebook. So the first notebook has, of course, a dashboard. And as you can see, you know, dashboards are really to protect your inserts because inserts are 
our paper and even though we print them on 28 pound paper you know you're writing in these you get coffee marks on them you get watermarks on them you it's life life happens in your planner okay so the dashboard is a sturdy cardstock and it just protects your inserts um, especially when you're actually using your planner and tossing this in and out of your bag those corners are gonna get a little beat up now the cover protects that a certain amount but any planner is gonna be like that any books gonna be like that they're books they're not made of steel so we have a dashboard for each insert and of course we have to make them pretty that's the fully loaded part so we've got a couple little stickers and die cuts we have the vellum I love this vellum this is let's take it out so you can see it this is our pretty windmill and pumpkin vellum so that's perfect for fall and of course again that's the best part about a traveler's notebook if you decide falls over and you want to make this entire planner a winter themed planner you can take the vellum and the dashboard off your insert use the same insert and put some winter themed papers around it and you're good to go so for the first insert we have the pretty floral clip I love that floral clip it's got the pretty um, gold metal leaves on it and the purples and the pearls for the little beads so that of course matches the front floral swag because we have to match. I mean, that's the whole point of a fully loaded notebook is that everything is matching and ready to go. So this little paper clip here, I would put at the top of whatever week it currently is since it's an undated insert. So if it was this week, you know, I'd write in my plans for the week and I'd clip this at the top so that when I open my planner, I can just, you know, flip right to it. So then at the back, we have that, of course, the back half of the vellum and the back half of that dashboard. And we've got some cute chipboard stickers and another one of those really cute little die cuts from the printable pack. And this one is a little sheep. There's actually two sheep. So this is the little blue sheep and there's the little pink sheep. All right, so then our second dashboard is this beautiful textured gold paper. It is amazing. And this is going to wear so pretty because it already has texture. So it's not going to, you know, any dips or dings that you get to it is not really going to make a difference because it already has that texture. So then our vellum here is a pretty floral pattern. And then we have our budget insert, which may be the most important insert ever because if you're like me, you buy a bunch of stuff and then you never write it down and then you have bills that come due and you can't afford them because you bought paper clips. Okay guys, so don't do that. I mean, buy the paper clips, but you got to keep track of it. So the budget insert is there. Um, again, the the top paper clip here, the bow, I would put at the, you know, whatever page I'm currently on. So it, it really just is a bookmark, essentially. And then we come to the back. We have the end of that vellum. I love how that layers over that. I mean, that's just so pretty. And then we come to what I call the triple threat because this particular notebook you can see how the um, elastics don't keep the books quite as tight as they should. That's what you get when you get the, the higher quality cover, is you don't have those kinds of issues. These covers are just inexpensive that we picked up, and they're great for an option for two, three bucks to put a, a notebook together for someone who's just starting out. But to spend that extra $25 to get the notebook, like if you're using this all the time, it's worth it, trust me. <laughs> Either way though, this is a good starting notebook, but you can pick up the entire cover, take it off and replace it with this one. It's a better option. Okay, so we have the acetate. So the acetate is around the dashboard and then we have the vellum. Okay, so this is the exact same setup as the first two notebooks, except we have that added acetate with the gold foil dots. Completely useless. It will protect your insert, but okay, we already talked about how the vellum and the dashboard protect. That's just a third layer of protection. You don't really need it, but it's amazing. I mean, it's amazing. So that's why we put, you know, these are just the little extras that you get when you buy a notebook that's completely set up and put together. You get the pretty little details, which details make life. Okay, so then we have 
what my mom calls the cow doing the splits. <laughs> I love this little die cut. He's so cute. <laughs> and he comes with the little journaling card that says happy together, which is perfect for fall. Makes me think of Thanksgiving. And then we have the floral um, vellum here over the notes insert. And this is just an insert that is literally four notes. Okay, so you've just got your lines. We've got your bookmark. And if you watched at the other online sale, I sold a couple of these. Um, they're so pretty. This particular one is the blush pumpkin for fall. Of course, it goes with everything else, the fall colors. And then it has these pretty gold um, and floral accents on the other end. And so you can see how it's tied at the top. That's because if you have a bigger traveler's notebook, say you have an A5, and you want to be able to move this bookmark into your A5, you just untie that knot. Say you have a smaller notebook, like you have a pocket size, you can just, you know, here's a pocket size insert. So this is a B6, this is a pocket size. You can see there's a big size difference there, but you still want to be able to use your same bookmark. You know, you spend $16.61 buying this bookmark in my shop, which you should go do, and and you want to be able to use it for all your notebooks. So you can just easily switch that out. And that's, I think that's a nice feature. And then we come to the paper clips. I love paper clips. Does anybody else love paper clips? So here's the first one. And this little guy is all gold. And my phone is up above me, so I can't really see. I hope you guys can see why I'm showing you these little details because that would be a shame. But these are like the top paper clips, except that they go on the side and they just help you flip to a certain page, especially in a notes insert. That's nice because you get three in the set. And so if you have three, there are $15 for all three or $14 for all three, five a piece. Um, you know, you may have three or four spaces just in your notes insert alone that you want to be able to flip to. Say you want to be able to flip to a Christmas gift list or say you want to be able to flip to um, a packing list, you're going on a trip, you can put one of those paper clips on each page and easily flip back and forth. At least that's how I use them. And then we get to the end of the insert and we've got the vellum. We've got another journaling card you can write on and this sweet little um, die cut that goes with the printable die cut set and that is just a little windmill with the cute little pumpkins. That's very autumn. Good thing it's in the fall notebook, right y'all? So then, you know, I don't know why I clipped that back on because I've got to show you this paper clip. Look at that mushroom. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. So, I mean, while you can use these as paper clips, they also work great to clip little things into your notebook. So say you wanted to clip a journaling card in, paper clip it in. Say you want to clip in receipts, clip those in. Say you want to clip in, I don't know, what else do I clip into my notebooks? I clip in um, itineraries for my flights, you know, all kinds of stuff. This little journey card goes on the back, and it has another chipboard. Little sticker there, I love that. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. This is the glitter dashboard because you can't have fall without glitter. We have our biggest die cut, which is the big one mail, and the chicken vellum. Let's take a moment of silence to appreciate the chicken vellum. Okay, we can't do a whole minute, but let's say that was a minute. I think that was good. And then we have the to-do insert. So if you are a list person, this is where you're gonna be. And of course, you've got your last paper clip. I love this one because it has those little blush um, peach variegated stones. They are so cute. I love them. You have another one down here on this bookmark. So they match. They match. And that's it. You've got your little back dashboard and it says thank you very much because I found this and I thought it was so cute. And there's the pink sheep. So, you know, sheep and sheep. So there you go. I don't know how long we've been talking y'all, but it's been a while. So if you have any questions, leave them below and I will definitely answer them. If you are looking for this fully loaded notebook, I will leave a link below. You can buy the entire thing. I believe it's 
133 um, without the cover. Okay, so if you don't want the cover, you just want the insides, you have your own cover, 133. If you want this gold cover, 144. And if you want it in your own custom, you could get, oh my God, you could get the white pearl leather with a gold scalloped spine and it would be amazing for fall. I mean, I think everyone should do that now. I think that's an amazing idea. And that would be, what's 133 plus 25? That would be 158. I'm trying to do fast math to see what it's listed for in the shop. <laughs> so it comes in, you know, the three options. But hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a overview on what traveler's notebooks are, why you need one, because you do. They're awesome planners because they're just so custom. You can do whatever you want with them. And isn't that what we all want? Whatever we want. And yeah. So let me know if you have any questions. If you love the idea, but you're not in full or say you want a completely custom, I do custom orders. So just let me know what kind of theme you're looking for and we can talk about it, see what you're looking for um, and go from there. But I hope that made sense. I hope you guys loved it and I will see you guys throughout the weekend. I'm going to be live tomorrow, I believe, at 9 Eastern. Saturday again at 7.30 Eastern and Sunday I believe I will be live at 3 Eastern. So more planner goodies to come. I am going to be working, I'm working on a back to school notebook. Hopefully I'll have that ready to show you guys and we'll go from there. Bye y'all. Let's see if I can find the finish button. Remember how I said this was a new layout? There it is.